Hey guys, it's Corey B, aka Bing Er. I'm gonna make a video today, and it might not be that short of a video. I'm gonna try to condense this, but it's gonna be talking about um, some recent footage I shot and posted on my YouTube channel, which was drone footage of bald eagles and what possible two federal laws that I broke there. I was contacted by the Fish and Wildlife Service by telephone, and we talked for quite a while about a couple different laws. What I want to try to condense this video to, because I made a video yesterday, but I deleted it because I didn't like it. Um, so what I'm going to try to condense today in this video is being wary about these two laws. One law applies specifically to bald eagles and some other various protected eagles, even though um, bald eagles, when you Google it, it says they're removed from the federal list of threatened and endangered species um, and that they're flourishing across the United States. And this is of um, 2007. Um, and this is very recent information of March 2nd, 2017. Um, even though they're not technically on the threatened or endangered list, they are still offered many protections um, that people might not know of. So if you're out shooting video with your drone, you should be aware of what federal laws that you could be breaking if you get too close to a bald eagle. Um, the second one here, and we'll talk about it when I start playing the conversation, um, is the uh, Airborne Hunting Act. That's what it is. Uh, so I am going to dive right into it. I shot the video, and I, when I was posting it, I was kind of on the edge. Should I, should I post this? Could this be technically illegal or not? I was thinking of editing out the parts where the birds moved. Um, but I didn't want to be untruthful with my video, and I also wanted to report this to the DNR so they could mark this eagle's nest and show them that there was an egg in there. Um, I know that it's in a construction zone, soon to be developed, so I wanted this tree and this eagle's nest to be offered protections, hopefully, from developers. Uh, so what I did was I put up the whole footage, pretty much. Um, I had a lot of people saying, wow, amazing footage, and some people saying, you got way too close. Um, so I... I was contacted by the Fish and Wildlife uh, Service, and I'm going to edit out his name when I play this clip here because I don't want to uh, post his name, the agent that contacted me, uh, for two reasons. One, it's just privacy. He's just doing his job. But two, he was, he's not, he told me twice during the video, he's not allowed to say public statements. He's just an agent doing his job, uh, making sure that people are respecting the bald eagles and not getting too close to them and not disturbing nests. Um, if if they want to put out a public statement and contact me, I'd be more than willing to make a YouTube video about that. But this was just a casual conversation. He wanted to make that clear that he's not authorized to make a public statement. Um, so let me just play this. And uh, just so that you guys know, sometimes the, the edited phone call here kind of gets louder and softer. I went through and tried to clean it up and condense it as best I could because the phone call was over 20 minutes long. And I think I included like seven and a half minutes here or something like that. And I also tried to normalize it. Um, some of the parts were quieter than others. So that's why it looks a little odd. Um, I'm not trying to hide that I edited this phone call in any way because I did. I did it to try to make it flow and uh, control the volume. So I'm just going to play it. And like I said, I'm going to edit out his name when I make this video. So here you go. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Our office is located in St. Paul. It's for the... It's the federal government. Two specific federal laws actually apply. Um, I noticed you already did some online research, and I saw some of your posts on the forums and such. The Bald Eagle does receive protection under the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act. It is a federal statute. Um, that does not allow anyone to take any eagle or part thereof. And uh, specifically, they define take as disturb or uh, molest along with actually killing or possessing. The second thing is actually uh, that I didn't see anywhere else is the uh, Airborne Hunting Act. Uh, that's another federal regulation that does not allow you to uh, harass any wildlife with use of a native uh, aircraft. That was the Hunting Act? I, okay, so I've heard of that one, but I thought that only applied if you uh, shot aerial footage and then hunted on the same ground. So it, it it does include that, but specifically there's a whole other section um, that said use and aid of, a, of aircraft to harass or disturb wildlife. Okay. Here's my follow-up question. Would you like me to remove the footage? Uh, I would. Okay. And, uh, for, for the simple reason that I, I don't 
you know, this is becoming a bit of a problem, and, you know, I'll, I'll just be honest with you, Corey, in this case, I'm not looking to write you any tickets. Okay. I, just, I needed, you know, I wanted to let you know that this was an issue. Um, but, you know, and part of the reason we take this seriously, not in your case, but, you know, we have had eagles abandon nests because of this. All right. Did you contact me because of my um, queries that I sent out to the DNR, or did you contact me because of that citizen that saw the footage? Because of the CIS. Oh, okay. Uh, other than you telling me about that, I don't, I didn't know of that at all. I did get a, a return on that email that said, we are looking into this and we'll get back to you. Um, so they are looking into it. I, I, in the letter, I marked the tree and I'd let them know that it's probably in an area that's going to be developed, and I was asking about any type of uh, protections that that tree could get. Um, yeah. Do you know anything about that? Uh, just as a weird coincidence, probably two days before I received the call about the video on YouTube, I received a second call specifically regarding that issue. Um, so I was already looking into this particular nest because of that, and I'm, I'm still trying to sort through that, but Yes, the nest will receive certain protections even through the construction and, you know, there's permitting issues and all kinds of other stuff that have to be addressed. Great. Okay. Um, so this is, uh, when I take this video down, I'd like to put up something about why I put it down. Um, so could, could I put up your answers in our conversation um, describing why it's illegal to shoot the, the bald eagles, the video with the drone? I'm not going to say no, but I would prefer you just cite the laws or the section of the law. Um, okay. Because then it's a little less ambiguous and people can't say, well, he said this or he said that. You know, it's the, this is what the law says. Um, my question was going to be, uh, what is a safe distance to uh, videotape or uh, a shoot video of bald eagle? Since, since you said, you know, like it's the point of the harassment and harassment is I don't know, subjective, correct? Well, I don't know if I can give you a, a specific distance. I'm actually um, I'm flipping through my code book here real quick. And if, if you have something to write with, I can tell you each individual section and, you know, how they read. Okay. So you well, know, actually, here. now I, I should have asked you this at the beginning, but my, my phone records every single phone call that I have. So okay. this is recording, so I can play it back. And you can just, you can just oh, read okay. It. Fair enough. So the, the first one is the Airborne Hunting Act. That's uh, 16 U.S. Code 742J-1. And essentially the way that one reads is uh, prohibitions, any person who, and I'll skip down to subsection A2, uh, uses an aircraft to harass any bird, fish, or other animal, or, and then it goes on to read some more stuff. Um, and under that, an aircraft is defined as any contrivance used for the flight in the air. So drones do fall under that qualification. And that doesn't matter, even though it's called the Hunting Act, it doesn't matter if you're not hunting. Yeah, I mean, the, the ultimate reason for the law is to avoid the animals being harassed from the air. Okay. Um, and, you know, that it doesn't provide a specific distance in it. However... Um, you know, in, in situations where the animals are modifying their behavior because of the presence of the drone, it, it kind of makes it clear that they're being disturbed by it. Okay. So as far as giving you a set distance, I, I can't. I can just tell you it's, you know, if you can see them changing their behavior, you're definitely disturbing them. The second one is the Bald and Golden, Protection, Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act. So that one is uh, 16 U.S. Code. 668, uh, and then that one reads, prohibited acts, uh, whoever within the United States or any place subject to the jurisdiction thereof, without being permitted to do so as provided in the subchapter, shall knowingly or with wanton disregard for the consequences of his action, take to the self-purchase barter, offer to self-purchase, uh, it goes on a little bit further, and then any bald eagle commonly known as the American eagle. So then a little bit later in the same, they define take as includes also pursue, shoot, shoot at, poison, kill, wound, capture, trap, collect, molest, or disturb. And, and again, there, there isn't, it's, there's not a set. So that could be, just like the other law, the disturb part is what we're looking for right there. Correct. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, and then, and then, like, like you said already, that's subjective. Um, I can't, I can't lift a, a foot, how many feet, or what type of distance you should be from the nest. It's just um, subjectively, are you disturbing them or not? Uh, and you know, I would, I would make the same, the same uh, stipulation we were talking about with the other one. The fact that the bird is modifying its behavior because of the presence of the drone, and not only the bird in the nest, but also the bird on the perch. Mm -hmm. You can tell leaves because the drone is there. Um, that I was that, pretty far away from the bird um, on the perch, and I mean they could have they could have seen it as like lunch probably too. I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean it's, it's not unheard <laughs> of. So. Okay. Well, let let me tell you. Uh, thank you for getting back to me. I was trying to get a hold of somebody, so thank you for reaching out to me. Um, I will remove this video by what is today Thursday. By the end of the week, um, I, I want to put up a video saying uh, why I'm taking it down, and then I'll take it down right afterwards, if that's all right with you. And I'll list those uh, those laws and everything that we just talked about. And if, if I have your permission, I'd like to include short snippets of this conversation just so they know um, what we were talking about and why I'm taking it down. Is that okay? Well, like I said, I'd, I'd rather you reference the law itself. Okay, but nobody would watch that. Um, if you want to get the word out there, the, the video has to be interesting. And if I post a video just with the law posted there, nobody will watch it. Does that make sense or not? I I understand what you're saying. The problem is, is I'm restricted by certain public release statements. And, and anything, if, if I'm authorizing a public statement, it has to go through my supervisor. Gotcha. Okay, well, that makes sense. I get it. I, I'm a government worker also, so I would have to tell you the same thing. That's fine. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Well, thank you for your time today. Sure. Okay. Great. Thank you. Have Bye. A good day. So I just want to be clear again, and I know I already covered this, uh, that was not a public statement by that Fish and Wildlife Service officer. That was just a casual conversation we were having about some footage that I shot there, and I was asking him about some of the laws, and he was... Um, very kindly educating me on the laws. Uh, I did not know about the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act, and like I said, when the first thing I googled was this, when I looked up, are eagles still protected? And the first answer that you find on Google um, makes it sound like they aren't protected, not meaning you're going to go hunt them, but just that they're not on the endangered or threatened species list anymore. However, um, this law is still in effect, it was enacted in 1940, so it might be a little outdated, but uh, they will probably still hold it against you and press charges if they have to, if you're uh, consistently harassing eagles with your drone. Um, if it's one-time offense and you didn't mean anything by it like uh, I did, hopefully they just let you off with a warning. Um, the second law that he talked about, the uh, Airborne Hunting Act, um, I kind of disagree with how they're interpreting this law, but uh, it probably will not stop them, your interpretation of the law, will not stop them from tra pressing charges if you're doing something dangerous or uh, blatantly harassing wildlife. And this one isn't even talking about uh, bald eagles or golden eagles. This is saying any, uh, any wildlife, if you're harassing them with an aircraft, and like he said, even though this law was wrote in 1971, um, they still make it apply to drones, even though drones didn't exist then, it still does apply. Uh, now, this law, they probably aren't going to issue a warning to you if you're out flying around crows or something like that, because nobody likes crows. And I mean, in this area, people shoot drone footage of deer all the time, because deer are like um, practically like a squirrel. They're so prevalent and a nuisance that they're just everywhere. Um, but if you're shooting something that is iconic as a bald eagle, somebody will probably take notice and use this law against you. Um, so this video, like I said, was just made so that other drone operators can get some information about it and maybe take some caution in the future uh, when you're flying around bald eagles or any sort of wildlife um, that know that these laws exist and that you may be breaking them depending on what you're doing with your drone. Um, that's it. If you guys have any discussion, please post it in the comments below. I'd love to make a follow-up video if people have any arguments for or against anything that I posted here. Um, 
Just let me know in the comments, subscribe so you can see the responses, and thanks for watching today, guys. All right, see you later.